people also gentlemen. On account of the American people who are so crazy for the Russian art theater, the manager who was producing this show was thinking of that maybe you would like to see such kind also. So for this reason, he is getting in communication with the Moscow players what's in Russia playing. And on the heavy expenses of wages which he has to pay from these hectares, he has engaged them for this producement. To disappear before you in our musical, comical, typical, topical, talking picture. On account of the American people what does not understand the Russian language, these hectares will speak the plain English. Of course, I'm realizing myself, I'm talking the best English, but I'm doing the best I will. So with your kind intention and by special request, I am making myself the biggest pleasure. Why? For a cause. For a cause I am now going to him producing to you a girl by the name Marion Harris, who is going to sing to the highest degree, to the biggest extension and to the finest capacity. Not only this, goodbye.
Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you tonight to give you a lesson in history. I'm going to teach you something. I'm, you know that story about uh, Christopher Columbus, the man who discouraged America? Well, I'm going to do that for you. Now, uh, let me see how that goes now. Once upon a time, way back in sunny Spain, there lived a little queen by the name of Isabella. Isabella was the wife of a king, her husband. There was another fellow lived around here by the name of Christopher Columbus, a boatman. Uh, now, everybody at that time thought that the world was flat. Boy, you're too flat. You've been standing too long. Everybody thought the world was flat except Columbus. So he went to the Queenie. Boy, I didn't know the queen was like that. <laughs> anyway, he went to the queen who was the frau of the husband, the king. <laughs> hey, listen here. Why is it every time I say king, you go on and trumpet? What's the matter with you? Well, anyway, he said to the queen, he said, listen, Lizzie. He said, I want to discover this here America place, and I got the dough, see? How about you give me your necklace and the diamonds from your goddess? She said, I'll give it to goddess, providing you take them off yourself. Oh. She said, but if the king catches you touching my lower extremities, he will throw you out of the house. <laughs> After he was thrown out of the house, he cashed the jewelry in Uncle Jake's pawn shop. <laughs> then he grabbed himself a notion in the head, but you gave him water on the brain, and he bought himself a boat. Then he grabbed himself a couple of sailors from the Navy Yard. He was itching to go yatching. Well, anyway, while he was out there in the middle of that ocean, the sailors was all getting mutiny. But Christopher, he cured that mutiny with kerosene and a fine comb. Then all of a sudden, the lookout up in the crow's nest, he looked up. <laughs> Boy, a crow don't make that kind of noise. A crow just that, that, that's the way a crow. Well, anyway, look out up in the crow's nest. He looked out and he saw an island. And on the shore from that island, who do you think was waiting for him, huh? Well, and you know one thing about Christopher? Chris now, wait a minute. Don't play that kind of, you get me? Christopher? Christopher was, wait a minute, let's, well, I can't stand it no more. I've got to get to it. One thing that anybody can come out here and imitate one person, but I'm going to imitate three at one time than nobody else but the three Brock sisters. Now watch me. Boy, let me hear what kind of music you're going to play for the introduction. Let me hear it. Bye. 